welcome to the Start Lines Plays FIFA 18 Road to Glory with Forest Green Rovers. Here we aim to take Rovers all the way to the Premier League. This time we're doing a diff slightly different show called Goals Galore, which means more games, more goals, shorter videos. This week starts with a cracker with the first team against fourth. And FGR started the battle through Rhys Brown and Keanu Marsh Brown having put in the Robins under pressure. And it goes for attacking well here. The break is definitely on. And it's a shot now. With the half coming to a close, Christian George broke the deadlock with a superb drive into the top corner. And in the process scoring his third in two games. After a goal drought at the start of the season. However, town fans didn't have to wait long for an equaliser. Straight from kickoff, after some good play on the flank, Donald McDermott was able to slot into an empty net. Swindon took the lead through Keshi Anderson in the second half with a close-range effort that Bradley Collins couldn't prevent from hitting the back of his net. Summer signing Harry Powell came close with a free kick, but saw his effort ricochet off the bar, and it appeared it was not to be Rovers' day. But in what was an unbelievable finish to the first derby between the two sides, Curtis Guthrie slotted home into the bottom corner to, in, to the joy of the home supporters. The tie would finish 2-2 in this side's Football League, Wiltshire Gloucestershire derby. Away to Cambridge was next for Rovers and they were put under pressure early on. Chance after chance after chance came uh, Bradley Collins' way, but he stood up to the challenge. In the second half, the football didn't improve. Forest Green Rovers, Isaiah Osborne came close as he witnessed his shot saved. It was just not going to be Rovers' day as Powell witnessed his header cleared off the loan by Harry Darling and was confirmed not to be a goal by the goal line technology. Curtis Guthrie's final attempt emphasised the afternoon's performance from both sides. Working the ball around, working the opposition. Going for goal! It was a real opportunity. And that is the final. Delighted to have the, company the final game had first against 15th and uh, would have seen FGR look set to uh, return to winning ways. But the home side was sloppy and Acton profited from Reese Brown's lackluster start as Caden Jackson put Acton Stanley into the lead. Rovers responded through a Chris Clements volley but saw his shot clawed away from goal. In the second half, Isaiah Osborne shot from range and saw his shot whistle past the crossbar. Christian Deutsch was also one to see his header easily saved. Jackson should have doubled his and Acton's tally when he was put through on goal, but scuffed his shot. Brown and Dale Grubb both thought they'd put their side level, but for Acton's number one to be in top form. The away team finally buckled as Harry Powell latched onto Keanu Marsh-Brown's cross and saw his head and header cannon in off the crossbar and bring the tie to 1-1. Acton had a late opportunity to win it at the death with some brilliant play, but the shot was poorly executed. The final whistle meant Rovers' form had stuttered in recent weeks with three draws in a row 
but um, consequently still held top spot of League goal, Two. You would think, uh, there would be one outright winner here. Thanks for watching the, the new episode of Goals Galore. Hopefully see you next week.